I am the eighth of ten children, born into a Vietnamese Catholic family. My father was a fisherman who made daily treacherous trips to the open sea in a small boat in order to make a living and raise a family. My mother was a simple housewife who had been orphaned by the time she was seven years old. She lived with relatives and worked as a maid until she got married. Neither of my parents received any formal education. About one month before the fall of Saigon, when I was 14 months old, the province where my family lived, formerly known as Binh Thuy, now named Ham Tan, was attacked by, with artillery by the communist army coming from the north. My parents abandoned our house, left behind all they owned, and began a dangerous journey with their children, then numbering eight to escape the communists, using only the small fishing boat that my father owned. Our family traveled by sea, dodging artillery, fire, and bombs. The stench of decaying dead bodies floating alongside our boat was constantly present. My siblings were exhausted, hungry, and thirsty throughout the journey. After days on the water, my family reached a temporary safe haven in a coastal province of Vietnam about 200 kilometers from our village called Vong Tau. However, the turmoil and fear was constant. There was chaos from hundreds of thousands of Vietnamese people trying to escape villages that were being attacked. Robberies, murder, and other crimes were happening on a regular basis. My family members lived with anxiety because my parents did not know what to do if that safe haven also came under attack.